That's what matters. Roger that, Voodoo 3 1. See you inside. Central left. Something wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. Central? No it's also in subtitles. The system, and we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. Okay, that was interesting. Not an easy mission. Mainly to that, due to that robo pest. The mortar launcher. Commander, I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet. The existence of this artifact which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind as a weapon. If we were to study this specimen's brain tissue, Perhaps we might be able to adapt this ability for our own purposes. New objective. Trace the hyperweave signal. Okay. Sniper promoted to lieutenant. Battle scanner, disabling shot. This could be useful. This uh, there have been a few times I've been useful, and, and the battle scan almost never was very useful to me. Heavy, with nickname of Nero, Devil May Cry. Eh. Uh, suppression, shredder rocket, shredder rocket. With, with how heavy, heavy health some units is, that could be useful. And my other sniper, squad side, of course, of course, squad side. Wait, maybe that's why that guy couldn't shoot sometimes, because maybe he wasn't blocked, but he just. He didn't have a squad side ability yet. Few new researchers available. Jeez. Sectoid commander. No, oh, I was right. Autopsy. Hyperweave communication. Muton elite autopsy. Sec sectopod autopsy, which are now automatically done. Sectoid commander corpse. Floater corpse. Two two heavy floater. Two mutons. Two muton elites. Two chrysalids. Sectopod wreck. Six drone wrecks. 109 alarium. 138 alien alloys. 84 alien weapon fragments. Alien entertainment. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing I might just be able to sell that. Um, 5 alien food. 14 alien stasis tanks. 4 alien surgery. 3 UFO power source. Hyperweave beacon. 5 alien food damage. Alien stasis tank damage. Jeez, I got a lot of stuff. XCOM successfully infiltrated and eliminated the alien base in North America. Panic has decreased worldwide by 2. Remember. Not bad. Pending requests. I do still don't have quite enough. I have 17 days left. Still have some time. Visit the grain market. See damage stuff. Those I can just sell. Mm. Alien surgery has no research benefit. Uh, alien stasis tank no research benefit. Oh, I'm gonna get quite a bit of credits from this. Alien food no research benefit. Entertainment no research benefit. I think that's all complete. Not bad. Okay, I appreciate research. your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Sector Commander Autopsy. Instant. Sector Autopsy Instant. Mutant Elite Instant. Oh, since it's a priority, I'll hold off that to last. <laughs> They're instant anyway, so whatever.
As if the standard muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion. I understand why game-wise, why they would be like that, where they would let send more der elites later on. But really, if you think about it, why would they send their elites later on instead and give their opponent time to prepare and research their equipment to help their enemy? Why not just send in the best of the best and just slaughter them before they get a chance to pe prepare and before they're expecting it? That would make more sense. As of the standard, Muton haven't given our troops enough trouble. The aliens apparently have kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of the invasion. Yeah, she just said that. Although they seem to have the distinct honor of serving as guards within the alien hierarchy, our autopsy of this specimen reveals a little in the way of distinguishing anatomical traits versus the typical muton. Aside from various improvements to their armor, the primary difference appears to be a slightly enhanced intelligence, which makes them more, co more effective combatants. The details surrounding this creature's specific combat capabilities should be available during a future encounter by targeting one in unit analysis view. Plasma weaponry research credit earned. Oh, ow. Sectopod research. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. Although this robot is neither alive nor sentient, it is strangely self-aware of its surroundings. We are still uh, uncovering the functional details for this species, but from what we've seen so far, this machine is a masterpiece of technology. Based on our initial testing, we discovered an extremely intricate program that's implanted in their macro processors. This combat control program combined with the sectopod's imposing 10 meter frame makes for an extremely dangerous weapon. Powered by the same energy source that fuels the alien craft, these machines wield unparalleled destructive power. Perhaps the biggest mystery is the secret of how they're being controlled. Additional information regarding the specimen's tactical abilities may be available in the field. Another one of these machines is targeted in the unit analysis view. Which I'm not exactly sure. It that doesn't seem like when I'm, sh when I'm about to shoot them and I hit more info, it doesn't seem like that's the unit analysis view. Maybe I'm missing something. Advanced construction project available in the foundry. Okay. The advanced fabrication process that the aliens used to build the sectopod could re be repurposed to accelerate XCOM's vehicle and facility construction at a significant cost, of course. Now I will do. I could I could research this now. Sectoid commander autopsy. Boom. This is an extremely dangerous species, really? commander. I, I had no Although not physically issue. intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. I'll just kill him fast enough before he can mind control anyone. After an extensive analysis of this specimen's brain tissue, we discovered some unusual activity in the sin sin the uh, the not sure how to pronounce that word. The synaptic connections that may be the source of the abilities our troops encountered in the field. Although somewhat similar in physical appearance to the sectoid we previously identified, this commander variant has an easily differentiated internal composition. We've theorized that these enhanced electrical synaps again synapses said synapses whatever capable of transmitting nerve impulses at nearly three times the normal rate are the product of careful genetic manipulation. If our theory holds true, that means the aliens are capable of modifying even the most complex tissue at a genetic level. Psionic labs available for construction. Psionic labs. This facility will allow us to discover and develop the latest psionic abilities of our soldiers. If they have any such capabilities, using them in the field will increase their strength. Uh, nice. I'm gonna want that. Want to get that under way. Nothing will ever be the same. The work that we've done here to adapt the technology of a hostile enemy force 
has advanced the scientific ah. progress of mankind by untold generations. Ah. These weapons, these ah. abuses of science, we still have an opportunity to use them for a greater good. We have paid a heavy price, but our efforts have not been in vain. Begin. Psionic lob. Wait. First, yeah, that. Nah. Boom. Okay, research. Start new project. Uh. Yeah, go and ha research the hyperweave We've communication. We've certainly had an influx of new developments recently. Well, the sectoid commander is an intriguing subject. I have to admit, this device has also captured my attention. Hmm. I think I would maybe build a couple shivs. A couple alloy shivs. If I maybe don't have those soldiers ready. Yeah, I, I really need to get my soldiers back in because I'm running low on soldiers that are active. Which they'll be arriving in one day. Along with new interceptors in Asia and South America. And a satellite being operational over Brazil. Okay. Scanning! Boom. Complete. Although we've studied a number of unusual pieces of alien technology up to this point, the equipment recovered from the alien base on Earth is among the most cryptic. When he first encountered this device, it appeared that the sector commander was somehow interacting with it through a non-physical link. Using some type of mental telepathy or another equally mysterious form of communication. Having now studied the device further, we've to believe we we believe. We de believe. We believe this is undoubtedly the case. Our testing has revealed a pattern of signals being transmis trans transmitted. I'm having a hard time talking. Transmitted at a wavelength never before associated with any form of communications or electronic transmissions. Although we should not be surprised at this point by the advanced nature of the alien technology, this particular discovery is a bit unsettling. As far-fetched as it may seem, several members of the research team have theorized that this device may be capable of transmitting and receiving signals beyond our own dimension. The implications of this possibility affects all areas of known science, and perhaps most alarmingly, indicate that the sector commander may have been receiving signals or orders from a higher authority. While continuing to annualize Analyze the transmission we've detected. The transmission we've detected. We have also moved forward in our attempts to interface the device with our own satellite communications network. If my suspicions are correct, this beacon may provide us with means of detecting previously unknown contacts. Hyperweave relay available for construction. Alien communications relay on a su su super dimensional wave, which travels almost instantaneously. This relay should allow us to trace the source of these communications. Ooh, ghost armor. Based on our continuous study of the hyperweave phasing phenomena we've witnessed in the labs, we believe it should be possible to develop an armor kit mirroring the mirror mirroring these unique unusual properties. This is success if successful, anyone hey, I was reading that. Anyone wearing this suit would be extremely difficult to detect. Ooh, that could be good for like my snipers. Maybe, maybe a support that could like sneak by enemy lines. Some. I'll go with that. Okay, facilities. Uh, this will be done soon. So, really soon, actually. <laughs> Just scan for a second. It'll probably be done. Yep, there it is. Facilities. Here we go. What do we got here? Where is Hyperweave re Relay? I will need more power for it. And more credits. So first I... 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 Jeez. 
I got a, a, a build a power generator here. I cannot exit because I'm on a... Huh, jeez. Sell a little bit of something. Uh, let's see what I have. No, that, those are too, too rare. A couple fly computers. 